Before we jump into this, I want to say, I respect Floyd Mayweather. He doesn't have the most entertaining style, but at the end of the day, there are many people on this planet who can do what Floyd Mayweather has done in the sport of boxing. Whether you love him or hate him, you have to agree, the man at this point in his career has earned his status of living legend. Floyd, a lot of people hate you, but you did what you had to do. You aren't a perfect human being, but you're a human being who's worked his ass off and persevered against a world of adversity. You have my respect, brother. And with that said, let's begin the video. Oscar, Oscar De La Hoya said that he wants the best, he want to leave off fighting the best. Bring it on, not tax that ass too. Fight come May 5th. I'm not gonna run. I'm so scared. Hi, my name is Oscar De La Hoya. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna. You ain't gonna do shit. Oscar can't fool me. He know he gonna get beat. It's just how he gonna get beat. That's what he better worry about. Ice that motherfucker, watch. I'm gonna ice that motherfucker. That's all my life, I'm gonna ice that motherfucker. Yeah, bro, I get my running shit. I'm ready to put my miles in right now after watching this shit. There's a difference between a great fighter and TBE. And I proved that I'm the best. I know I'm the better fighter. We fight 10 times, I'm gonna win 10 times. We fight 20 times, I'm gonna win 20 times. We fight 100 times. I'm going 100 times. Manny Pacquiao just, he's not a better fighter than me. No way around the board. Manny Pacquiao, you're not on my level. Manny Pacquiao, you will never be on my level. Period. Simple and plain. This is the Floyd we all know. A million dollar mouthpiece dismantling his opponents mentally with an onslaught of trash talk. Never expressing a glint of self-doubt, just absolute self-belief. So, why? Why would he say this? And, and, then, and, if you, and, and if you possibly can get a victory, then you become the, and then we do a rematch, you, you can be the a side. Did you just hear that? A 49-0 technical genius expressing the possibility of losing and having a rematch. This monstrosity who expressed zero possibility of losing to Oscar De La Hoya, Manny Pacquiao, Canelo Alvarez, Shane Mosley, and many other incredible world-class boxers. This man, Floyd Mayweather, entertained the notion of losing to Conor McGregor. And here, for this training session, quoting, I know I'm not the same fighter I was 20 years ago. I'm not the same fighter I was 10 years ago. As a matter of fact, I'm not the same fighter I was 5 years ago. I'm just an old legend putting in work in 16 ounce gloves. Floyd Mayweather. A lot of media outlets took this as Floyd scoffing at his old age, but that's ridiculous. He clearly recognizes that he's an old man for boxing and that he's not the same boxer that he used to be. And is that true? Yeah, most definitely. Before his hardest fight, Emmanuel Augustus, he had 17 knockouts. The man was on fire, dropping people with explosive power and inhuman finesse. But now, as sports science has calculated, doesn't even hit as hard as Nate Diaz, who Connor literally took a hundred shots from with the smaller MMA gloves, yet still stood lucid. Even here, Floyd Mayweather himself saying Connor has a chance at winning. And I've been off a couple years, and I'm 40 years old now, so yeah. I'm a lot older. I mean, that could play a major key. We don't know, and he's a, he's a heavy hitter, so we'll just see. He's not a boxer, though. Mr. Mayweather. He's a fighter. At the end of the day, I'm a fighter. I mean, I I, at the, a fighter is a fighter. You guys, y'all ask questions, but you have to do your homework. You know, said this, Conor McGregor, every time he goes out there and defeat fighters, he's standing up defeating fighters. So it's obvious Conor McGregor is a better stand-up fighter than he is a grappler. So do we have a chance, a good chance of upsetting Floyd Mayweather? I can't say, but anything can happen in the sport of, in the sport of boxing. Recognizing Connor's power, and that he himself is not the same fighter he used to be. That he's been off as a retired old man, and Connor is dangerous, crushing people in the stand-up. This is not the Floyd we all know. This is not the indomitable spirited monster, always speaking his truth with absolute certainty. For the first time, he is a man acknowledging the possibility of defeat. You could say, he is the only Floyd Mayweather fan who thinks Conor McGregor has a shot at beating him. Now some will say, he's just saying that hoping Conor won't get scared and back out, but come on man, that's not who Floyd Mayweather is. He is honest about the way he feels, he speaks his inner truth without filter. 
and as you listen to him talk, you don't feel that bullshit detector going off. It's just your brain can't process this legend losing to Connor. But the reality is, Floyd feels that possibility. It's real in his body, he believes he's an old man who might go 49-1 and one against Conor McGregor. Why though? Why does Floyd see what others don't for the first time in his career? I think Floyd Mayweather's most difficult opponent, Emmanuel Augustus may have the answer. Now this is Floyd in his prime, a rampaging beast who knocked out 17 of his last opponents prior to this fight, yet Emmanuel throughout the fight actually made Floyd look human. But Floyd just wasn't his usual self throughout this fight. Why? A few reasons. Emmanuel has a good chin, definitely his playful, flowing nature allowing him for the most part to remain calm against world class pressure but also just the fact he has such a weird style, a broken rhythm integrated through an obvious dance background. Now Floyd intuitively knows the science of boxing like he knows how to breathe. But for that same reason, when someone came in who was a complete blasphemous disregard to that science, integrating this weird broken rhythm that Floyd could not read the same way, many times throughout the fight, it bothered Floyd, he panicked, he just couldn't read him. It got into his head and literally for the first time, he moved out of that effortless flow. Boxing is, I mean, to me it's ABC 1, 2, 3 so easy and forced his way tooth and nail into a victory through that frustration he did not have that effortless grace to him like he usually does now if we look at connor he has a rock solid granite chin that has at least taken a hundred shots coming at more force than floyd's punches nate diaz connor has an inhuman psychotic level of calm has a playful taunting nature as well that also gets inside your head but most of all, one of the weirdest rhythms in the fight game. At times, it's almost like he doesn't even have a rhythm. No weight distribution from lead foot to back foot. King Ghost is a fitting nickname because his elusive ability to slide in and out makes it very difficult to gauge his distance head on. Michael J. White demonstrated with an untelegraphed punch that the human eye has little capacity to do so. Connor's footwork takes full advantage of this, sliding effortlessly with no hang time in his step or movements. No uneven weight distribution, not even giving you a cue to where he actually is. He's just phasing in and out like a phantom. Instead of this weird, wacky, broken rhythm that Emmanuel has, Connor has kind of the opposite. With his bladed karate stance, he doesn't really have one. The sweet science is something Floyd intuitively feels like it's his own pulse, reacting to it instantly in the milliseconds. That feel he has over his craft, it didn't apply to Emmanuel because he was blasphemy to the science mixing his movements with dance, and it doesn't apply to Connor because he doesn't use boxing footwork, he uses karate. Floyd has said they are all the same. I mean, you know, when I face these guys, um, they're all the same. And that's why boxing is so easy for him. But Emmanuel Augustus wasn't the same. And now a new opponent has come forward who again, deviates from that science. Conor McGregor is just not the same. If you pair that with his old age for a boxer, you can see why Floyd is worried about Conor McGregor. Why Floyd is the only Floyd Mayweather fan who thinks Conor has a chance. His face when he talks about Conor. It's the same one he had sitting at his corner bewildered by Emmanuel Augustus. It's the face of a man who feels doubt. So, knowing this, with the evidence I've provided, does Floyd for the first time feel fear due to his unorthodox opponent, Conor McGregor? The answer is for you to decide. Regardless of the outcome, much love and respect to Floyd Mayweather. He has been a hell of a contender and from my perspective, deserves his legend status for the havoc he's wreaked on the boxing world, whether you like him or not. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. It's Kukarma, and until next time, peace.